This is a basketball court. Say that a team is shooting towards the basket on the left. Any goal made within the red region is awarded two points. If a member of the team were to make a basket in the shown region, then it would be awarded three points. Another way of scoring can be due to a foul. I'm going to explain what a foul is. A foul is when the defender touches the offensive player on the shot. It gives the opportunity for the offensive player to go to the free throw line and get extra points by shooting. The player stands behind the free throw line and it has the opportunity to make two shots, awarded one point per shot made. In 2003, the WNBA's top scorer was Lauren Jackson of the Seattle Storm. She scored a total of 698 points during the regular season. The number of two-point field goals Jackson made was 19 less than six times the number of three-point field goals she made. The number of free throws she made was 64 fewer than the number of two-point field goals she made. Find how many free throws, two-point field goals, and three-point field goals Lauren Jackson made during the 2003 regular season. Let's start by letting X be the number of free throws y being the number of two-pointers, and z being the number of three-pointers. We can then set up our equation as x plus 2y plus 3z equals 698. It is given that the number of two-point field goals y is 19 less than 6 times the number of three-point field goals z. Thus, y is equal to 6z minus 19. Solving for z, we add 19 to both sides. Then we divide by 6, giving us y plus 19 over 6 equals z. We are also given the number of free throws x was 64 fewer than the number of two-point field goals y. This means x equals y minus 64. Returning to our equation x plus 2y plus 3z equals 698, we can now substitute for x and z. Since simplifying for z would give you a fraction, it would be wise to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Now we can combine like terms. Divide by 7, giving us 215, the number of two-point field goals. After we have solved for y, we, we are allowed to plug it back into our previous equations. Solving for x, we plug in 215 minus 64, which gives us 151, the number of free throws. We can also solve for z now, giving us y plus 19 over 6, which is 215 plus 19 over 6. This is 234 over 6 equaling 39, the number of three-pointers. 